Ah, my dear friends, due to a comment this morning by one of the people who watch my videos habitually, it elevated me into a more secure level of what I've been saying about the pure sexual energy at the highest level of Rod Lowe. For me, this, was, this is going to be a game changer video. That highest level of Rod Lowe as, as pure sexual energy. But what is that pure sexual energy? That pure sexual energy is, is reflected in the letter Mem. The letter Mem for water. Because water is what we're made up of. We're like 65% water. The word Shemayim actually is fire and water. And is suggested by this comment, relates to Prometheus as the fire bringer and as this man has said, NK as water, which is also part of the Prometheus myth. So what does water have to do with this whole level of, 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 well, sperm and sexual energy is made out of water. You know, and urine and, and, and sperm. I think they call it like foot water. Or from the bris, the yesod. Remember on... on on, uh, uh, in the Sefi Yetzirah, there are three mother letters. Aleph, Mem, and Shin. The Shin is on top for fire. The Aleph is in the middle for air. And the bottom between Netzach and Hod, the line between Netzach and Hod, the path between Netzach and Hod, is Mem. For water. Netzach and Hod are the two testicles, by the way. And this is the water producer. But there's even deeper levels than this, because the whole concept of water is from the number 40. The number 40 for water. How many sayas in a mikvah? 40. Life begins at 40. You're only supposed to study Kabbalah from 40. But here's the story of, of the letter 40. Because there are 39 labors, Sabbath prohibitions. And they call it 40 minus 1. They don't call it 39. They call it actually 40 minus 1. And so they list the 39 Shabbos prohibitions as 40 minus 1. And so they bring it down as 39. That 39 is actually shown in the Shema as Adonai Echad. Adonai is 26. 13 for Echad, that's 39. The, letter, the name Tal is 39 also, Do. And 39 is a Shalem Vehetzi, a hole and a half of Yud Hei Vate. But we go on from here. How do we know that 40 and, and water re relate to this yesod area? Because when you spell mem full, it's mem mem. It's a mirror image of itself. It's a double. Mem mem is 80. And that's the gematria of yesod. Yesod is 80, which means mem. And there are two types of men from mem from here, so the, the sperm and, and the and the water, the urine. But this whole idea of, of four, four, 39 plus one 
labor. What is the 40th labor of Shabbos? What is the 40th labor? And this is the whole secret. There are 39 prohibitions in building the Mishkan. What is the Mishkan? The Mishkan is your body. The Mishkan is how you build your body, or how to build the body. And what's the 40th labor? The 40th labor is called the work of heaven. This is the work, you're not allowed to do 39 labors, but the 40th labor you do on Shabbos, and that's the work of heaven. So the 39 labors are for the six days. But what's the 40th labor, the work, work, labor, the work of heaven? So for six days you do your work, so it's uh, the six labor days of, uh, of uh, Zerampin, which focus down into the sixth day, which is Yesod, And the seventh day is Malkus, the feminine. And the whole idea is to pour the Yesod into the Malkus. Well, the 40th labor is intercourse, beer. And that's what you're supposed to do on Shabbos night. You're supposed to build your body during the week. And then the body rests. There is no labor. The 40th labor is bia, sex, intercourse. That's the spiritual labor of Shabbos. And they tell you this. Because Shabbos, you know, the, the students study all week and they come home to the wives on Shabbos evening and that's the beer. That, that is the that is the, the, the spiritual work to have intercourse on Friday night into Shabbos. And that's the work of heaven. So the 39 labors are of the work days and the 40th labor is Shabbos. Intercourse, sex. Let me show you how this is brought down into the Shema. The Shema is 410 for the, for the gematria of the word Shema. 410 is the same gematria, that's Shin, Mem, Ayin. 410. That's the same gematria as Mishkan. And there are six words in the Shema corresponding to the six days of the week. And you put your hand, one of the great secrets here, you put your hand, the, the right hand, I'm going to, over the eyes, and that's the Aleph. By the way, and you're the female. And the Aleph is the, the Aleph is the uh, male, the, the, the Hatsan, the, the bridegroom. You're the bride. You're the female here. And before the marriage, you're not supposed to see the, uh, the groom. See? And you say, I don't know, yeah, it's actually you're a woman here. Right? That's actually having sex. But you you prepare the sex, you say the had the long sex, that's a little bit longer, and then you take that off, and quite frankly, you've been married. See? And what do you do in that marriage? That's how you culminate the marriage. 
the bia. And that's that long thing with the with the dalit. Get into this. The dalit is an intercourse. So we have the fortieth labor. It almost sounds like in English the forty weeks of labor. See? And the 40 weeks of labor for a woman correspond to the 40th labor. <laughs> you know? It's a 40 for the pregnancy and it's a 40 for the numbers. And this letter mem has even more so. It's mem, that's 40, and, and mem, mem, that's 80. Those two together, 120, which are the three times that Moses stays on Mount Sinai, each one a mem, because it's, it's an intercourse. And then the full of the full mem would be mem, 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 mem. Four mems, 160. 160 is the gematry of Kayan. Kayan. It's also the gematry of Zelem, a very high region, which I've said before, comes out of the the Rod Law. The fortieth labor is the work of heaven. That's the Bia. It's the intercourse. It's coming. It's your sexuality, your sexual pulse. Water. I've said this before, but bring it in now. Bruce Lee's entire martial arts. I don't know if he did kung fu, whatever he did. His entire martial arts, you can find it in the uh, internet here, video. He said, be like water. Water is the whole key. And water moves and goes into the lowest cracks and it's pliable and submissive. It's not stiff. Be like water. They come at you, absorb it. Water, 40. All 40 symbolisms is water. Forty are the four yuds in the divine name of uh, 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 of seventy-two yud hey vav hey, spelt with yuds. Yud and then hey yud, vav yud hey, hey yud. Those are four yuds in the divine name. That's that's forty. That's a mem. In a certain sense, the word amen. Contains the letter mem. The Aleph is an emphasis of the second letter mem. And the nun is a continuation of the mem. Just like om sounds like a mem, a nun at the end. The mem is a continuation. It's only the letter mem that we're worried about here. Um, it's a lot of mem for mother. Forty. Forty minus one labors. And what's the most? The 39 are only to lead you to the one. You're only supposed to do the work to build the Mishkan, build your body, st structure your body for the 40th labor. 
And when you find out that every day is Shabbos, that you're living in Olam Haba, which is a day of Shabbos, which is Shabbos. And in Keter Malkus, what do you think happens? The Malkus comes and crowns the Keter. And that's what happens on Purim. These are days of reversals and of sexuality. The 40th labor is the whole purpose. And that's Bia. That's the work of heaven. And it's given to you in your natural animal soul body. And it has its own brain. The gut. And you drink water. And when you wake up in the morning, you wash your hands with water. And before you eat bread, you wash your hands with water. This letter mem, it's a structure, it's a middle, it's a middle letter. It's a thirteenth letter. Echad, thirteen. I don't know, Echad, Echad, thirteen. You're stretching, stressing that mem, whether you know it or not. And if you add the bottom line of the Shema, the Shema has 20, well, Baruch Shem Kavod is Gematria 600. Gematria 600 is a final mem. So the first three words of the Baruch Shem Kavod line under the Shema, which is not necessary, it's not Torah necessarily, but it's been given. Why has it been given? Because the total letters are 49. And there's a 50th. The, the, the 50, 50 paths of Bina, the 50th path is, between, path is between Bina and Keta. It's from the woman back to the man, and that's, that's what's also stressed in the Shema. The 50th path, which is Nun, to, com, to complete the Mem. There are 40, 40, 39 labors, and the 40th labor is the mem. And there are 50 paths in Bina, and the 50th paths, the 49 are stressed in the Shema, with the 25 of the first line and the 24 of the second line. And the 50th path is back to the, to the Keta. And that's the nun. And then you get mem and nun. And that sounds like man. And if you add the letter aleph from keta, or would you add block from your eyes? Not block, because your hand makes an aleph when you do that, when you close your eyes. That's the 50th path. Back to back to Keta. And when you make that 50th pass, you have the nun and the mem and the nun and the aleph, and that's our men. And that's faith. And that's the that's the emunah, which is the word 102 of Eloheinu in the Shema 102. And when you add all these together, you get the, the, you get the rod low, the three heads in rod low, which are in a certain sense netzach, hod, and yesod, the two testicles and the penis. And the Yesod is the Mem Mem Mady. And this all comes, and this is the, the Amen, which is really a form of sexual potency. And that Amen is also stresses Haman with a Hey. 
because the amen is a din of the hay. If you take the hay from the ha, from the he, from the ha, from the let the hay, hey Aleph, you take the, the din and put it in man, you have amen. And that's why they block out hey man, they block out the hay. And you have amen. Oh. Oh. And it's all stressed in water with the 40, the 40 sayers of the mikvah. And you come out every morning fresh from a mikvah, like coming from the womb. And the amniotic fluid in the womb, like a mikvah for you. And this is the highest level of Rod Low. And this is the 40th labor of Shabbos.